again from Osseum. In this video, we're learning how to perform multiple triggers with sub-events. Now, the trigger that we've already set is from our first video in the series. If you want to reference how we arrived here, watch this simple triggering video. This trigger occurs when the set combination of edges happen and the most significant bit is high. Let's add a second trigger event. By adding another event, we're setting the trigger to occur only when events 1 and 2 happen consecutively. The second event will be a pulse width trigger. It counts the time a probe spends either high or low. Let's set the trigger to occur, 50 microseconds of D15 being low after the first event is satisfied. And that differential is 50 microseconds. Now let's look at our protocol triggering options. Here we have a series of I squared C transmissions based on the multiple triggers we've set. Logiscope can also report when a signal is changing faster than the sampling rate can capture. Signals with sampling errors will show up in red, like the least significant bit of the count and both I squared C lines. It's worth noting that although the probes are being sampled too slow to capture every transition in the I squared C lines, Logiscope's decoder still works at 100 mega samples accurately capturing all I squared C data. The live data can be paused at any time. Zooming in on this pause data clearly reveals the accurately decoded data. Thanks for watching.